This is an open letter to Russell T. Davies. Hey Russell, you know that whole Doctor Who thing you've been doing? You're doing it wrong. This is about $30 worth of yarn and 84 hours worth of knitting time. I'm gonna try to film the whole video dressed like the doctor, but it's really hot in all of these layers. Quick review of the end of time part one. Just like to note that it was narrated by the skeeziest time lord of all time. The first half entertained me, despite the complete lack of consequences for Waters of Mars, the way the master became a really bad hero's character, and the complete lack of direction that whole half of the episode had. Once you got into the second half, and you got re-narrated by that skeezy time lord, it's head desk material. We've seen this before. This is another Utopia The Sound of Drums Last of the Time Lords story. My prediction for the next episode, four words. Big. Fat. Reset. Button. Not impressed in the slightest. Okay, quick fire questions because there's a lot of questions this week because Lindsay's crazy and asked three of them. Number one, how is your winter going? I have a Doctor Who scarf, how do you think it's going? Number two, Christmas traditions. The four of us kids gather around on Christmas Eve and exchange the presents that we bought for each other because when we were younger, those presents were often eclipsed by the bigger and better presents given to us by Santa Claus. So we did it the night before so we didn't feel like our gifts were really crappy, even though they were. Then we hang up our stockings, we all go to bed. In the morning we wake up early, we're allowed to look through our stockings and through a bag of books that we have, and we sit around reading these books and eating candy out of the stockings. And then, between 6 and 7 o'clock, we wake up mom and dad and then open three presents before going to church and then coming back and opening up the rest. That is our Christmas. Number three, New Year's plans. Marathoning Lord of the Rings with my family. And then Lainey's question was, what was our favorite thing about this Christmas? My favorite thing about this Christmas was the fact that I watched five awesome movies in a row because I'm crazy and needed to get this done for today. Love a Christmas Carol, Pan's Labyrinth, minus the Pale Man scenes. I just skipped those. I can do that on DVD. Inkheart, which I don't have in here with me at the moment. Edward Scissorhands. And last but not least, the best movie that I've ever seen since Star Wars, Fanboys. My question for this week is, what character costume would you like to be able to just pull out of your closet and assemble on a whim? I have a lot of costumes. I can make a lot of costumes on a whim. This is all stuff I had, except for this coat, but it was my brother's, so I just borrowed it. And as an additional challenge for the winter break, before we go back to school, either on this channel or your personal channels, dress up as a character that you like. Doesn't have to be complicated. Doesn't have to be as extreme as this madness. God, it's really hot in this thing. But before we move back, I want to see you guys dressed up as a character. Okay, I really need to get out of this coat and this scarf because it's very, very hot in here. So I'm going to go do that. I will see Lindsay on Wednesday and I will see Lainey on Friday. And what kind of challenge do I want to do? Okay.